Hello guys, what's happening with Skylon? Welcome to my channel. My name is Irene and uh, I was coming back from work in the bus today. Uh, it's been a long day, it's been a long eight hours. And I thought to myself, I really want to shoot a video. What should I shoot about? And within just a few minutes, I just thought to myself, hey, you've been seeing these job adverts out there, people looking for jobs. So I guess I thought to myself, let me break down a few tips either from what I've gone through or from what I've heard my friends or people around me go through the experiences or from things I've read online just put two and two together and make a concise video and yeah let's get into it the first thing I suggest to do straight off is to first know and be sure of what exactly you want in terms of what kind of job are you looking for what kind of area what kind of location are you specific on that or are you more flexible on that but with specific reference to the job type that you're looking for because this will guide you on and save you a lot of frustration down the line in terms of not being prepared for those interview questions that they give you or even starting the job and you feel ill prepared so with this you would have to either go online or read up online about that specific job description and find out what the people out there on LinkedIn, the definite people who have gone through that position or are currently doing that position, doesn't matter which company they're in, if they're doing the job that you envision yourself taking on, are to just go to LinkedIn, see what, see, look at their history. What do they do? What do they take any courses? Do they, what is their education background? Do they first do a certain, of course everyone's different, but you kind of start to track a pattern. Do they first do this type of course before they got the job or during the job span? What activities do they kind of partake? And this will help you be a lot more prepared for interviews because with specific reference to software developer, which is my job, you have to do preparation, I would say like a month before you actually start your application process to do interview questions, to do a lot of uh, questions online, to do a lot of reading up and just to get you more prepared for the job position and this will give you more confidence in yourself when you actually go to your application process you'll be sure of yourself you'll be nothing as is as good as confidence when you look for a job with that that leads me to my second part networking get to know as many people as you can around you through your friends friends through your workmates friends or anything try to expand the people you know because believe it or not most jobs they say 80 percent of the jobs are found through people through actually either sending your cv through someone or someone recommending you or it's always through people it's a very minimal percentage even below 20% or below that actually get their jobs through there's general job ads on indeed.com or career jet or career 24 so I really emphasize getting to expand your base getting to talk to more people as even in your field or outside your field because you never know who may put in a word for you that you're actually looking for a job they could work in the position maybe as a position that you don't want but they hear that the, for that position that you're looking for that they actually look for a job and someone can recommend you so do expand your knowledge base the people you know drop in on LinkedIn uh, social media has made things easy this is a 21st century so drop in those inboxes people you admire or headhunters or directly in the company that you want to work for drop in an email even to the CEO hey if it's a small company most likely they will get back to you or drop into the manager or one of the office administrators drop your email be clear what exactly you're looking for the type of position just introduce yourself make it short but to the point to an individual person just to increase the chances of your application actually being read by a human being because sometimes maybe systems disregard a lot of these applications that we put in or it takes it in a chunk so your thing never gets considered at all even though you're capable and you have all the papers you have all the skills so yes reach out to people as much as you can so those are my top two tips of if you're looking for a job things that you can do to increase the chances of actually being successful in your job hunt and getting something that you actually really like which gets me to my third and final point often underrated that is happiness 
try to find a job that will make you happy or a company that will make you happy uh, believe you or not even though you like the job sometimes not being the perfect fit in the company can give you a lot of unhappiness believe it or not it could make you decrease productivity at the workplace uh, you get to a point where you doubt your capabilities you doubt what you can do and that affects your work and that can show on the exterior and external make sure the company that you're applying to try to talk to people that work in that company or if it's in your company and you're trying to maybe get higher or get promoted try to talk to someone maybe you trust that's in the position or that's been in that position and maybe they're in a higher position right now so they give you an honest opinion of what that job entails of uh, like a typical work day of advice in terms of what they could have done better advice of what you can do just to get you started so that you don't make the same mistakes that they made so just make sure that you get into a company where you see that your personality fits with the people around you or in the interview try to ask as many questions as you can so that you know that you're a perfect fit in that organization with the way they do things if it aligns with your values your beliefs or things you can be comfortable around pretty much so that you really know what you're getting yourself into so you can be happy in your job it's so bad getting to a job that you absolutely hate and you get up every morning you dread going to work and yeah get a job that you love so i wish you all the luck in this fingers crossed come to end of year people are trying to get to different positions or change jobs in the new year so yeah good luck with that guys and if you get back to this video you're not currently looking for a job but maybe in the future you get to look for a job do come back to this video and tips for me as well hey eh? we're always learning from each other okay guys that is it for me for now i'd like to say bye and uh, see you in the next video don't forget to like this video share it around to people that you think would benefit from it and yeah that is it for me now now bye thanks for watching